I've seen your faithfulness and my hand is on you. <laughs> That's what I hear in the Holy Ghost for you. I only know a fraction of what you've been through in your life, my friends, but God said, He that began a good work in you shall be faithful to Come complete Hallelujah. it. You're just partially. Whew, I see point A and point B. You're not even halfway to the halfway point of point B. You are not even a quarter of a, the way on the journey. So all the heartache, all the pain, don't write it off as being that that's the way it's only going to be forever and that you're just going to have to learn to deal with it and, and just, just make it and, and just make it through and keep pressing on and get it through. No, he said you're not even a quarter of the way on the journey. There's so much yet ahead of you to be experienced and it's all full of good things, saith the Lord. Things to bless you, not to hurt you, to give you hope in the future. I've been preaching on Jeremiah 29, 11 for weeks and weeks and weeks. He said, I'm going to bring you peace. I'm going to bring you grace. I'm going to give you hope and an expected outcome. The map's already printed. The end is already published. An expected outcome is what's on the horizon for you. So don't get weary and well-doing for a new season. You shall reap if you faint not. Hallelujah. Yeah. Try testing and prove it to be true. I see your faithfulness and my hand is on you, says the Lord. Well, give God another hand clap of praise. Yeah. For me. Hallelujah. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. <sighs> Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Day. Now, Heavenly Father, shine your blessings down upon your people, I pray. Give them grace and mercy, anointing and authority. Give them open doors and opportunities to share the gospel this week. Let them lead many lost people to the cross of Christ, that they may be born again and become assured of eternal life. We thank you, Lord. We are not just saved to go to church, but we are saved that we may save others. We thank you, Lord. You've made us a lifeline a life preserver that's been tossed out into the ocean of sin. Lord, you sent us to save the lost.